We suggest to use the labeling tool called RectLabel to label your data. RectLabel could be downloaded on the website rectlabel.com. RectLabel is specifically good for labeling because it comfortably lets you label images with polygons and lets you export your labels in COCO format, which generates the annotations.json file in the exact format that this framework requires for training. Let's label a couple of images together and export the metadata file, which we will then be able to use for training. Please first navigate to www.rectlabel.com, purchase, download, and install RectLabel labeling tool. Next, please launch the RectLabel on your computer. When tool has launched, please click button Open Folder, just as I am doing on the screen right now. That brought up an open folder widget on the screen. Please click on the button Change for Field Images Folder. Now navigate and select the directory where the images that you are trying to label are located and press button Open. Next, click button Change for Field Annotations Folder. In the file browser, please click New Folder button, Name Folder, Annotations, and click button Create. Make sure that folder Annotations is selected and click Open button. Next, please click on button OK on the Open Folder widget in the Rect Label tool. As you can see, images from the directory which we selected have loaded into the Rect Label tool and are ready for labeling. Before we start labeling images, we first need to save label objects in settings so that we could select them from the list to make labeling faster. Please click Settings button. In Settings, please click Tab Objects. At the bottom of the Objects list, click Plus Sign button. Then use Name Text field to name your label. Let's name this label Car. You can give your label unique color to make it stand out on the images. Please click Color icon. Point your mouse arrow to the red color and click Left Mouse button. Next, Press X button to close color selector widget. Now, press plus sign button once again. Then use name text field to name your second label. Let's name this label motorcycle. Let's also select a unique color for that label. For instance, green. Please press plus sign button third time. Then use name text field to name your third label. Let's name this label pedestrian. Please now click OK button to exit settings. Let's now click menu item Edit and select option Create Box. Point your mouse pointer to the top left corner of the object, which you would like to label on the image. Click left mouse button and while holding it, drag mouse pointer down to the right lowest point of the object, which you are annotating. When you reach the lowest right point, let the mouse button go. As you can see, Label widget popped up on the screen. Click on Object drop down menu and select appropriate label for the given object. In our case, it is a car. And press OK button. Now, let's label another car on the same image. This time, let's use Polygon to annotate the car object. Please click Edit and select option Create Polygon. Please point mouse arrow onto most outer border point on the car object and press left mouse button. This time, release mouse button right away. Next, move mouse arrow up to a next point that outlines the car. As you can see, there is a line that is dragging behind the mouse pointer. Let's press and release left mouse button once again. As you can see, the area between first point and the second has gotten outlined. Same way point after point, we need to outline the actual shape of the car object on the image. When we get to the end that is close enough to complete the loop of the annotation, press Enter key on your keyboard. This will connect last two dots and bring up the label widget back to the screen. Let's again select label car and press OK button. You probably asked why would we need to annotate objects so accurately using the polygon instead of bounding box. And there is a reason. The mask RCNN algorithm lets us predict not only the bounding box, but also the segmentation mask, and segmentation mask precisely predicts the actual shape of the object 
excluding the areas that bounding box otherwise includes inside of its boundaries. You will see what I am talking about when we will get to test our trained model. Since we don't have any more cars, motorcycles, and pedestrians on this particular image, let's press right arrow button located on the middle right side of the image pane in the rect label. When we click right arrow, we get a prompt asking us to save or abandon our changes. Please click save button and save the changes we made. On the next image, we have a motorcycle. Let's use Polygon to annotate motorcycle the same way we annotated the second car object. Let's label it as motorcycle. Since I prepared around 100 images to use as part of this tutorial, I will pause here and come back when all 100 are labeled. Okay, I completed annotating 100 images. Link to my labeled dataset is in the description of this video. To load the dataset, if you don't want to label your own, please simply click Open Folder button and point Rect Label to the images directory with my images and to the annotations directory that is located inside of the images directory with all images, just as I am doing right now on the screen. Click OK button. As you can see, all images have loaded with annotations on them. After you're done labeling your images, you need to export your annotations in COCO format. Please click menu item Export and select option Export XML Files to COCO JSON File. Leave Export Segmentation as RLE checkbox unchecked and press OK button. Image processing has started. You can see the progress bar running at the left bottom corner of the rect label window. When image processing has completed and file browser pops up on the screen, please choose location to where you would like your annotations metadata file to be saved. I keep mine next to the images directory just to keep the metadata and images together in the same path. Name exported file as annotations.json to stay consistent with our further instructions below. Path to the annotations.json for both training and test datasets will need to be specified in the config file from where training pipeline reads the instruction on what data it should train with. This is it. We now have a training dataset which we can now use to train our model. In the next tutorial, we will go on to finally training our first model using Easy Computer Vision Platform.